it's Raquel Bowman here and today I'm here creating a new layout for Coco Vanilla Studio. Uh, for this layout today I'm being inspired by the October monthly challenge board and I have grabbed out the happiness collection. Now I have had a really big play with this collection in the past however I do love it and I especially love the really bright colours within the collection. So I thought that this really, especially with the pops of orange and pink, complemented this mood board so well. Um, what I've got is a photo that was taken a couple of years ago of our Geelong waterfront, which I thought I might make the focus. And I was sort of inspired by choosing this photo just because of the things that were in the layout. Um, and I've also grabbed uh, some cut files out of my stash. I normally will have a few cut files sort of cut and sitting in a pocket. So I was thinking of maybe incorporating these leaf designs somehow just because of the uh, planter pots here and the palms here. Um, I am going to have a go. Now I, I could and I will admit I will possibly not like it or I may not end up using it but I really want to have a go at creating a bit of a striped look background and what I thought I would do was go through some of my distress inks um, I will pop the distress ink onto a plastic sheet spray it with some water and then um, just do a light sort of stripey wash down my page so I'm going to go vertically instead of horizontally like the picture. Um, but that was my first step and then I thought I will just see what that looks like when it's done. I could absolutely hate it and not want to use it or I could love it. Um, and I am going to quickly prime my page with some clear gesso. Um, this one I like, it's not gritty and it's um, obviously clear which means that it's not going to affect my paper and the crispness of my white cardstock which you all know that I love and um, so I'm just going to do a really thin layer of that and then I will have a go at this mixed media. You will need to wish me luck I think because you know mixed media and me don't really go together but we will see. Let's just have some fun. So as I mentioned, uh, I did begin with just applying a super thin coat of gesso. I just dip an old, uh, I think it's a healthcare card, um, health card into the gesso and I really scrape it very, very thinly. Um, I don't like the warping that gesso can bring to a page so I do tend to just apply a really thin layer. And now I'm going through and I grabbed out five coordinating inks uh, that I thought would work really nice with this layout and the inspiration board and I'm just popping it on a tile that I found in um, my sort of stash and then adding some water and then just swishing it across my page sort of like a, a wash I suppose and I'm going in that vertical direction as I said um, I am certainly had no tips or tricks in terms of mixed media it's just not my usual thing um, but I did actually enjoy this process of creating and I also really enjoyed the final result which I, I as I said before I would, wouldn't have been surprised if I just threw it in the bin um, and I've done that numerous times when I've attempted mixed media. I have some gorgeous mixed media supplies uh, that I really love seeing other people use but I always have and find it challenging to use myself. So I did it. I completed a page with a mixed media background which for me completely foreign but it was fun. So once I had done that I wanted to apply um, my watercolour striped white cardstock to a background and that was not only to flatten it but also to give it a bit of a border. Um, I really love the blue in the happiness collection and I just thought that that would join in the blue in the sky as well as in the mood board or inspiration board elements as well. And then I have those gorgeous leaves from the Cut To You store. They were a freebie file. I'm not sure if you can now purchase that however. Um, uh, from a newsletter 
and then I'm just grabbing out the ephemera and just going through and placing it where I think it might look okay. So there, there was no plan of what pieces I wanted to use. I'm literally just sifting through and grabbing bits and pieces that I think might work. And I really, really like how that turned out and how that sort of frames that photo and also works with the leaves, work with that vertical sort of design of the stripes. I just thought it sort of draws your eyes from the top corner and then you sort of follow along that bottom section of the leaf um, cut file as well because it's sort of hanging down on that right side as well. But I decided with the leaves I didn't want to back them with a pattern paper. I didn't want to take away from the beautiful colours in the floral ephemera pieces so I decided to use vellum um, and that piece of vellum I actually had with the happiness collection because I've used vellum with it before. So it's just a bit of an off cut that I had and then I let those dry, set them aside and cut them out later. Uh, what I realised at this point was that I needed to machine stitch around the edge of my page which I uh, did off camera and I also wanted to add um, a pop of colour behind my photo so I've added that gorgeous pink. Now that pink pattern paper is one of my favourite favorites in this collection it's just got this really small sort of swiss cross design on it but the color of the pink is just beautiful um, so i add that to the background i thought that tied in beautifully with the pink watercolor as well in that um, stripe and then i start to play around with the title and adding other embellishing bits and pieces I had originally placed one of the larger die cut titles that come in this collection that said beautiful and looking back now I really actually like the way it looked but at the time I felt like it was too big and too bold to go on this layout. So I've chosen that Happy Times and that was from the ephemera pack. It in the ephemera pack there were a couple of smaller titles using that same script font. In the mood board there is also some um, butterflies slash moths in the top of that inspiration board so I decided to fussy cut a couple of those uh, butterflies out from one of the 6x8 papers. I choose the 6x8 paper butterflies because they're smaller in size and because I work with an 85 by 11 layout it works perfectly. In the ephemera pack there was also those tassels um, that are a obviously not a real tassel but a picture of a tassel now they can sometimes be a little bit challenging to use I've found but sometimes and um, when I've used them in the past I've used them sort of how I'm going to use it on this layout where they're sort of tying in with um, an embellishment cluster and just dropping down from wherever it might be so in this case it's just going to be with the leaves and you could even use one of the uh, real tassels that are in some of the the newer collections like daydream as um, as an embellishment there as well so I add that with foam adhesive but also with a liquid adhesive so I'm using the Bunnings big foam adhesive roll. I'm also using some thinner uh, smaller little dots which you can see me using there. They're actually squares not dots and then I'm using the Nuvo liquid adhesive. The reason that I'm using the Nuvo and not my normal scotch quick dry is because my beautiful girl Charlotte um, had a bit of a play with my um, supplies which is fine I love her coming in and creating with me but she didn't put the lid on my little tacky bottle and it clogged up and then the needle broke inside of it as well so that is um, no longer here so I have to get a new one um, you'll also notice that I'm having no more trouble with my ATG because I bought a new one and it just arrived so I'm using that on the layout which I am loving and I am just working on now 
adding some detail and those final finishing embellishing touches. So I added some little heart stickers. Uh, I added a little tab that um, said, love this. I'm working on my journaling now, which is always typewritten. Uh, it's just my favorite way of adding my journaling to my page and I really am quite passionate about adding some kind of a story to my layouts so I'm adding that and I'm looking right there for my t-square ruler because once I have the top part of my journaling straight then I just sort of use that as a guide for the rest of my um, layout so pretty much the layout is finished here and the only thing I do off camera which you'll sort of see in this little uh, clip is I've added some enamel dots. Um, I didn't mention that bottom cluster of embellishments, only a couple of small things there just to balance out the layout. And here's the final uh, images. So I hope that you get a chance to join in on this month's monthly challenge over in the Coco Vanilla Studio community. Um, that's on Facebook. You can find all of the details and there's a $25 store voucher up for grabs. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Bye.